Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to solve the problem with my 12 volt socket. Welcome to this new video. So in a previous video I showed how to install the 12 volt socket as you know the Qashqai doesn't have it from fabric in the video I sh show here you can see exactly how to install one and where I connect it to resume the situation I have a cable running all the way down all the way down here down there below the carpet and it is wired up in the center console so on the J11A cars you can wire it directly in the back on the J11B cars as I have the power socket is in the front of the box and you have to open up the middle console in order to wire your cable so since a little time now I have some problems with this power socket it doesn't always work as it should especially when I wire my cooling box it works in the beginning but afterwards it don't work anymore so really annoying so let's figure out what's going on so first let's check the fuse so the fuse is still okay it isn't broken so now let's remove the power socket itself so I still have a light in there, so it gets power. So let's see what's going on exactly. And for that, I will wire my multimeter. So both are connected. Just be careful that you don't bring the two in touch and make a short circuit. So there we go. And I have enough power. So now we know that it got its 12 volt, so it should work. So the second step is to measure the power in the socket itself. So in order to measure the power in the power socket itself, the little metal plate is the plus and the sides are the ground. So you put in your pins, but really be careful to don't make a short circuit. So I won't film this because I only have two hands. And there as well I had the same voltage. So the power is there and still my cooling box doesn't work. And I will show you a problem. There it is, wired up. And when I go to on, it directly switches off. You can see the red light is on. And just to show you the difference. So the battery has enough power for the cooling box and still in the back it doesn't work. So my idea is that this 12 volt power socket is defective. So I bought myself a new one. This time it isn't from Aliexpress but the local car shop. Here I paid something like 2 euros. This one is 10 euros so still not too expensive but I have a little bit more trust in this one. So as all the cabling is already in place, this swap is really simple. I just remove the connectors, take the new one and put the connectors on. As you can see, this power socket has a little plate as well. What I did is I glued this part to this plate. So now it is fixed on it. I will insert like this with two screws this way the power socket won't turn anymore because with the older one I always had a problem that it turned around so first we have to undo this little ring and this ring goes on the back side of the panel I have it on the wires now the wires can go back through the hole and they are disconnected so let's first test the cooling box 
before I finish the setup. So I start the motor uh, because since the beginning of this video the car went in battery saving mode. Of course that complicates this test. But as you can see I have the green light now and when I turn it on you'll hear that I have a working cooling box. So now I only have to fix this socket in its place and we're all done. In order to do so, I will place the socket over here. In order to fix it even better, the kit came with two screws. But I will not only put the screws in, but on the back side I will put these wall plugs over just to prevent the screws being in touch with any cable or whatsoever. And there you have it, a new power socket that looks a little bit better, more solid. And let's do the test again. We have the green light. It works.